Let's get started here. We'll open up for questions. And begin with Mike Singer. Mike, go ahead. Hey, Michael, I just uh, I just asked Jamal this. He said he felt like tonight was a missed opportunity. You guys were up seven with eight minutes left in the game. Do you, do you kind of feel that way too? Yeah, definitely. It, it definitely slipped away from us in that fourth quarter, and we definitely uh, felt like we had this one. But give them credit. They fought to the end. Um, but now we definitely feels like a missed opportunity. All right, I have no hands at the moment. All right, we will go to Harrison Wynn next. Harrison, go ahead. I know you weren't on the floor for all the fourth quarter, Mike, but the shots you guys were getting, I mean, you were generating a lot of open threes. How pleased were you with just the looks you got? Yeah, um, you know, some, some games you just don't hit your shots. And tonight was one of those nights, you know, we got a lot of shots that, that we want to get. We were really getting all the shots that we, we planned to get. So... Um, they just weren't going down tonight, um, especially in that fourth quarter. But um, nothing to hang our head about because we were getting the shots we wanted. All right, we will go to Mike Singer. Mike, go ahead. Hey, Mike, uh, I think this is your second highest scoring playoff game, um, you know, since you've been in the playoffs. Uh, wh where's your confidence level at on the offensive end? We've asked you a lot about the defense, but, but is the offense, do you feel like it's starting to come around now in the postseason? Yeah, I mean, you know, I missed a lot of shots I felt like I should have made. Um, you know, a lot of my three ball hasn't been going in as much as I would like. And then, you know, that mid-range on the baseline, air ball that. So it's a lot of shots that I feel like I can make. I'm just not hitting right now. But, you know, my job coming in off the bench right now is just to be aggressive. So that's what I'm trying to do. Like I said, we're getting the shots we want. I'm getting the shots I want. So I, it's just a matter of knocking them down next game. All right, no hands again. Any more questions for Michael? All right, we'll go to Michael Spencer with CBS4. Michael, go ahead. Michael, I know it may seem trivial given the fact that you guys lost, but can you take us through the uh, highlight jam that you had over Montrez there? Um, yeah, I mean, I got it on the wing. I saw they were closing out hard to me. Uh, Jermichael Green, he, he actually blocked one of my threes earlier. I can't remember the last time I got blocked on a three-point attempt, but he, he, he got out there and he got it. So I just um, – I saw him flying out there, so I drove. And then, uh, you know, around the rim, I'm just trying to be more aggressive, take the contact and finish. So I just jumped and I was high enough to dunk it. So, um, you know, it would have felt a lot better if we won. But like I said, we got to move on to the next game. All right, we will go back to Mike Singer. Mike, go ahead. And Mike, I think they had uh, 27 second chance points in game two, 19 offensive rebounds. A after seeing that number, did you sort of tell yourself, I, I need to make an impact on the offensive glass? It, you know, I, that's where I can be a factor. Um, yeah, you know, they, like, like you said, they're getting a lot of offensive rebounds. We got to do a lot better job of that, first of all. But on the other end, you know, we can get offensive rebounds as well. So me personally, I think that's – an aspect that I can, I should be aggressive in. I can get a lot of those. So um, just making sure I'm bringing that energy and bringing that energy to the offensive glass every game. All right. Do we have any more questions for Michael? All right. That'll do it, Mike. Appreciate it, man. Thank All you. Right.